aftermath of the 2020 NFL draft continues for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So we head to Michigan and welcome in Michigan State head coach and our good friend Mel Tucker. Coach, good to see you. How are you? I'm doing great, bro. How you doing? Doing well. Are you obviously the former Jags defensive coordinator from 09 through yeah. 2012, an interim head coach here for five games in 2011. Yeah. That's eight years ago, the last time you were here. Uh, time flies. I know. The time goes so fast. It seems like just yesterday that I was in Jacksonville. So, hey, go figure, man. Mel Tucker with us, head coach for Michigan State. It is a challenging time for you, though. You're getting settled in, working at a, a new school, a new location. That's right. tough enough as it is, but even tougher considering everything going on. How are you and your staff and your players getting through this time? Yeah, we're doing we're doing well. Um, just controlling what we can control. You know, s there's so much uncertainty right now, and no one really knows for sure what the future is going to be. But um, you know, we know what we're allowed to do right now, and so you know, video conferencing and Zoom calls like we're doing right now is that's the new normal for us. Staff meetings, recruiting, uh, position meetings, unit meetings, the whole nine is all video conferencing now. So it's a it's a new world. So, all right, let's let's touch on the Jaguars draft pick from Colorado, second round wide receiver LaVisca Chenault Jr. You had him last year in Boulder, yeah. and he can be used a number of different ways. That's a, that's a nice yeah. thing to have in your back pocket. Yeah, uh, you guys got a phenomenal player, and I'll tell you what, he's a great kid. You're going to love uh, interviewing him and being around him on a daily basis. Uh, just really easy to get along with. He's got a great smile. He's He's very pleasant. Uh, he's courteous and uh, he's a really good, he's a really good teammate. He's a good team guy, but from a athletic standpoint, I mean, he is a complete freak show. I mean, there's not, there's not very many guys that have come through uh, that are going to look like him. I mean, uh, he's, he look he's built like an outside linebacker, you know, but he's got all of the skills of any receiver uh, as a slot receiver, an outside receiver, we played him left and right. We lined up in the backfield. He did wildcat. He played quarterback. I mean, he lined up at the tight end position. I mean, the, the guy, is, his versatility is incredible. Um, and he's a, he's a young guy. I mean, he left early. Um, he, his best football is ahead of him. So you guys have a phenomenal player. Uh, you mentioned briefly what kind of guy he was off the field. Take us through that a little bit more. What was he like in the locker room, in the meeting rooms, and and what can the Jags expect on that side? Yeah, he's a he's a really quiet guy, and and, uh, and really till he gets to know you. Um, and uh, so when I first got to Boulder, um, he was you know very shy, and uh, and so it was a kind of a, a a process of him opening up. You know, once he got to know me and the staff. And uh, but once he kind of got used to us and kind of found out what we were all about, I mean, he, he's great, you know, and he's like I said, he's a fun guy. He's always got a smile on his face. He loves his team as he loves his coaches. He competes. He practices hard, um, you know, but for people, you know, initially that he's not familiar with, he's going to be he's going to be quiet. He's going to be reserved. He's got the he's got the braids. You know, they'll be covering his face every now and then. But he'll 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 come out of it eventually. And uh and you guys will work well together. Mel Tucker with us, head coach for Michigan State, talking about former Colorado receiver LaVisca Chenault Jr. Mm -hmm. um, you see this from the defensive side or have seen it as a coordinator on the defensive yeah. side for a long time. What is the toughest adjustment for a wide receiver coming in, uh, facing NFL defenses for the first time? I know he'll move around and do some different things. But in general, when a receiver comes in, it might take him a year or so to really get right. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the speed of the game is usually the biggest uh, adjustment college players have to make, you know, when they go to the NFL, you know, everything is moving faster. You have to process things quick, uh, more quickly. Um, you know, all of the players that you go against are, are, are uh, competing at a high level. Um, you know, you, there's no days off, there's no plays off. And so just um, getting used to the consistency of the level of play, the speed of the game, Will be uh, his initial challenge, but once he, once he, uh, once he does that, uh, he'll be highly productive. And as a former defensive coordinator, when you see a guy like this on the other side that's so dynamic that can line up in different places, how much stress does that put on you as a defensive play caller and make sure your guys are in the right place at all times? 
Yeah, he's uh he's hard he's hard to game plan for because he's so versatile and so you don't know that he's gonna be on the left or he's gonna be on the right or he's gonna be the X receiver. Um, you know, sometimes you know he can line up inside, he can line up outside, left or right. You can send him in motion. So he's a hard guy to game plan for. Um, and so uh, because he's so versatile, um, he can do, he can do so many so many things. He can do them all well. And so it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, you know, how, how the Jags uh, decide to use him, especially his rookie year. And then it's going to be interesting to see what the defenses around the league and within that conference decide to do to try to stop him. Mel Tucker with us. Final couple of minutes with the Michigan State head coach, former Jaguars defensive coordinator. Uh, you had current Jaguars safety Ronnie Harrison, your year at Alabama. You were the defensive backs coach there in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. And he was a freshman that year. What do you remember yeah. about that year yeah. with Ronnie? Yeah, Ronnie's one of my favorites. He's just a – he's a great kid. Um, I mean, as a freshman, I, he comes in, he was like 6'2", you know, 215 pounds. So, he started for us on that national championship team. He was our starting uh, dime defensive back, and which is a is like a uh, – in our dime pack, it's kind of like a linebacker, uh, strong hybrid. And he did, a, he did a phenomenal job. I knew then that he was going to be – a an early pick, you know, first and second round pick. And uh, another kid that always had a smile on his face and loved his teammates, loved to, loved to play football, you know, played hard, cared about his mama, wanted to get good grades. And, you know, he's just uh, – he just I'm, – I'm always pulling for Ronnie. He's just a phenomenal kid. Coach, the future is bright in East Lansing, right? What can we expect from the Spartans this year? Yeah, we're going to play hard and we're going to give everything we have. And uh, – like, like I said, our guys will be physical. They'll be humble. They'll be hardworking. We'll have a chip on our shoulder. We'll have something to prove. And I think all, all of our Spartan fans around the globe will be proud of what they see this fall. Good stuff. Congratulations on the new gig in East Lansing, and thanks so much for your time. Great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you. You guys take care, man. Be safe.